Hey Aquarius, my name is April Nicole and welcome to Sister Girl Readings, y'all. Okay, so Aquarius, you got the most views. Um, apparently your video was of some significance. A lot of people felt it resonated with them and some didn't. And that's okay because all videos are general and they're not necessarily everything is going to be about you. Some things are going to be about other motherfuckers and it ain't your life and you shouldn't try to make nothing fit. Um, and some people just want to hate because they just like to have an opinion. Okay. So anyways, so Aquarius, we're going to go straight into your video. Um, we get a bonus, uh, you and Libra, my air signs. Uh, I got first, second and third place. Uh, my third place was Capricorn for the month. So we're going to do Aquarius and Libra first. So Aquarius, you have the most views. We're going to go. Usually, how we go in, which is with our quotes. So, we're going to go in with our quotes. And we're going to see what we got, Aquarius. Let's we'll see what we got for the next 60 days. Why not, right? Uh, follow your heart's desires and manifest the heck out of your life. So, you're going to be following some type of dream and manifesting it, making it work for yourself. Um, a lot of good things are going to come. Um, I looked over to my amethyst stone and I noticed that if you follow your intuition, nothing can fail you. So maybe you should be really using the amethyst stone, um, to pretty much manifest your into or, or manifest your dreams using your intuition, um, really connect to the unknown, the, the mystery. So go and ask the most high and really resonate on his words and meditation and his, um, you know, his, what he would consult you to do. Um, really try to connect to, if you don't have, you know, connect to your spiritual guides, you know, uh, what, in, in whichever way is okay for you. Um, uh, I do see the strong, it says the strongest people in the morning are the ones who cried all night. Maybe you've had some type of emotional breakthrough or something significantly sad could have happened to you. And you're afraid to show your emotions because it could be perceived as weak or uncomfortable. And people, maybe people don't see that side of you. Maybe you're not a very emotional person and maybe you feel uncomfortable being emotional. I know Aquarius is not as a masculine sign, so they're not the kind of people to want to show you their vulnerability. Um, but it says that if you are shedding emotional tears that need to be shed, then it doesn't make you a weak person. It makes you strong to acknowledge that pain and release it and let it go and no longer let it affect you is why spirit is saying they're there. You know, I'm proud of you. Um, life is art. Follow your dreams, or sorry, paint your dreams, sing your song, and enjoy the dance. Someone could be a musician. Um, someone could definitely um, be painting their life in their art. Someone could be a painter. Or someone could be um, singing songs. Someone could be a musician. Um, it also says here, maybe you want to put your emotions and all the shit you've been through negative and positive into your artwork. Maybe you are creative. So, um, that's the significance. It kind of peaked. I pulled it. Um, at the bottom of the deck, it says you are moving out, you are moving into a steady and reliable path. So you're coming out. And I think it has to do with the, sometimes the strongest people in the morning are the ones that cried all night. Is because literally, like, you've been through some very tough situations, and now you're going to go to a stronger, more centered path that's going to be in touch with your spiritual goals, your um, financial goals, your love goals, and all that other stuff. So you're going to follow your heart desires. Okay, so let's look at the follow your heart desires. Let's look at that with Tarot. Um, no, someone stopped me. They said, no, nah, don't use Tarot. So let's see, Spirit. What, um, what's like, what do you want to deck? Linderman is what it wants me to use. So I'm going to use Linderman. Uh, let's see. What is that for Aquarius? With um, following your heart's desires and manifesting the hell out of it. Um, let's see. Uh, the moon. Intuition. Um, the letter. Some type of contact. So you could be talking to God. Um, there's some kind of cards that fell out. A child, uh, a man, and a heart. Um, some of you guys could be trying to get a child. You could be trying to manifest a baby. Some of you guys, um, maybe you want a baby from someone or maybe you want um, to become a dad. That could be very important to you. Um, you guys could already be fathers. But it does say if you guys are not trying to have a child right now, 
It could just be about being naive or expressing something minor or something that's beginning. Maybe you're beginning something. Um, you could be a younger man, maybe. Uh, maybe you're worried about your children or maybe, you're again, I think you're trying to manifest and have a little boy, maybe. Or maybe you have a male child. But um, you are very trusting or playful or shy or immature. Uh, maybe you look kind of young. <laughs> maybe so. But uh, I definitely get that maybe you're trying to, some of you ladies are trying to manifest um, a child and a husband, maybe, uh, or a startup business. You could be trying to get some type of part-time job, maybe working with younger people, hence the child. Maybe you're a man doing this. Um, maybe you are, tr again, trying to get pregnancy. Um, or maybe you're trying to create a pregnancy. But um, yeah, I, I do get that you're, or a love child. That could be cute. I mean, maybe you guys are married. Um, let's look at the heart because we already know man is representation of an actual man or masculine. It doesn't necessarily have to be a man, though. Um, so, or a masculine spirit, rather. So the heart is about some type of passion, love, devotion, text messages, social media, and showing some type of appreciation to someone that you really care about. Um, the heart is a representation of peace and harmony. So you could be manifesting that, manifesting that, and it's the beginning of the child. Um, you could be, uh, feeling mother's love, or maybe you want some type of sibling affection. Maybe you're hanging out with your siblings or your family. Um, you could be doing charity or hospitality towards strangers and friends. Maybe you want to be more hospitable. Maybe you want to give to children. Um, uh, there's a lot of feelings and passions. Maybe you're trying to um, definitely get some type of intentions of trying to build something. Um, maybe I get charity a lot. So you could be trying to, a lot of women or men are trying to manifest a new lover or a charity work or a fling or a, rela a relationship. You know, um, you could be working on your heart chakras or trying to start something with yourself and giving thanks to Most High God, you know. So there's a lot of things here that you could be trying to do. I did see the moon. The moon is about intuition and the moon is also about someone that is um, a psychic. Um, they can also be someone that is in the public eye. So there's a lot of things with the moon. The moon is a dreamy person. This motherfucker is dreamy or attractive. So you could be trying to attract or manifest an actual person that's dreamy or mysterious. Um, you could be, again, trying to connect with some type of, um, unconscious thoughts or maternal instincts. Maybe you are, again, a baby for some of you. Um, maybe some type of romance or affection or some type of moonlight, candlelight, dinner. Uh, some of you guys are trying to manifest your dreams. Some of you guys are trying to manifest fame and recognition, popularity, or someone's trying to manifest some type of seduction. Uh, but I get babies with the, with the moon. The moon is about childbirth. Um, it can also be about getting optimistic outcomes, um, getting some type of or seeking some type of favor from someone. There's an artist here. I knew it. It says an artist here, a dreamer or someone that's popular or well known. So you could be dealing with someone that's popular or well known. Ooh. Uh, for others of you, you guys are trying to get some type of pro professional success or praise or recognition. Some of you guys are getting inspired. You guys are working very heavily in the artistic field. Some of you guys are trying to work in public relations. Uh, but again, some of you guys who are trying to have children, you're trying to connect to your womb or you guys are going through menopause and maybe you want that last baby before you're done, you know. Um, but again, it's like your money is coming and going. It's not very, it's, it's positive, but it could be better if you're thinking about money issues. Maybe you're waiting on some type of money issue, um, some type of flyer, or maybe you guys, uh, this is off topic. Someone could have a lot of junk mail in their, um, their fucking mailbox. You could look in there and be like, damn, that's that fucking Mercury retrograde, either a lot or nothing. But someone definitely could have a lot of fucking shit in there. <laughs> Like, someone could be mysteriously reaching out to you as well. So you could actually be um, hearing from someone that you have not heard from in a long time. And they want to say what's up to you. They want to see how you're doing. Um, then we got the letter. The letter is about some type of written information or effects or a post. Um, you could be on Facebook or Instagram, social media, Twitter. Uh, but it says that you will basically be contacting someone, maybe writing an invitation to them. 
<clears throat> excuse me, some of you guys will be uh, graduating. Maybe you got some type of diploma, uh, but others of you will be blogging. Uh, again, Mercury retrograde. So uh, you could be writing a mysterious letter. Um, make sure that none of your emails get compromised and make sure you save everything because you know Mercury retrograde is some bullshit. <laughs> okay, so um, some of you guys are expecting some type of announcement, uh, mysterious announcement. You could be trying to get something approved or some of you guys, again, are writing love letters or you're, writing, you're, you're, you're giving someone a late Valentine. Some of you guys are trying to... Um, hear back from a loved one or you're trying to start an intimate relationship so some of you guys are just trying to talk and see what's up um some, the 27th it may be significant to you guys so maybe you're doing something on the 27th or maybe you're thinking about it um it could be important to you maybe you were trying to reach out to someone around that time maybe but anyways um I do get the letter in the heart. Maybe you're hoping for a positive response from someone that you love and you're hoping that they're going to open their heart to you. So again, maybe you are, again, waiting for something like that. Um, so it seems like you guys are manifesting a variety of stuff. Fame, fortune, intuition, children, um, positive responses, a man, a relationship that could be very, very harmonic. Maybe a marriage, a horse and a carriage, you know. All right, so that's for uh, manifestation of your heart's desires and manifesting the heck out of your life. Okay, so let's look at the, um, the sometimes the strongest people in the morning cry at night. Let's look at that. Mm -mm. Let's see. Okay, okay. All right, so we got the, the, the uh, what's this? The cross card, the anchor, and the, um, the crossroads. Did someone die? Did someone move on? It seems like someone is walking away from something because there's a there is in the picture with the um you guys can't see it, but in the picture um with the cross, there is a bunch of blackbirds. There's two blackbirds, and they're looking up at this cross, and it's like a grave site or something is dead. So some could someone have died, maybe. Uh, maybe someone is no longer living. That could be the cross. Um, maybe you guys had some type of significant loss um, in your lives. But um, it does say here that there's some type of suffering or burdens that someone is going through. Someone could be having some type of difficulties or trials and tribulations or hard, hardships. Maybe someone's having an obstacle or some type of emotional, mental, or spiritual um, some type of hindrances or intimidations. Someone could be feeling very remorseful or very guilty or shameful. Someone could be publicly humiliated or they're going through some type of disappointment in their lives and they're relying on religion, faith, or beliefs to help them through. My bad, guys. I had got interrupted, but um, let's go back to the reading. <laughs> so... You guys could be dealing with some type of religion. Maybe you have some type of um, religious beliefs. Um, maybe you guys are opposed to um, basically spirituality as far as mediumship or psychics or empaths. Which I really don't understand why you would even re watching this reading. But I mean, maybe you stumbled upon it and this message could definitely be for you. But um, this is about shamanistic stuff, um, the root of creation or spiritual realms or destiny or the divine. But it seems like there could be a challenge or a negative outcome. Um, there can also be some type of in pain or suffering. But um, there is you could be going through some type of eliminations or sadness. But I do see here um, someone that could be given to a donation or like a charity because this is like a religious card. You could be working with the Red Cross. Some of you guys are having some hardships because you can't find a fucking job or you got a fucked up ass work environment or you have a lot of recessions in your life. You're holding down a lot more. You could take my ten of wands. But um, you guys could be in unhappy relationships or someone could really be like not really into you and that could be very heart aching or sad. Maybe you left a relationship that was really tumultuous. Um, you could be leaving a relationship that was very burdensome. Some of you guys could be getting separated. Um, maybe you guys are having some type of uh, physical problems perhaps. Um, it does seem like uh, some of you, again, a lot of late payments or a lot of financial ordeals that are going on. And you just don't know what to do. You just really got to pray and ask for help, it seems like. 
Um, I also see here with the cross and the anchor card, because you got it, it says that you could be having some strong spiritual beliefs. So some of y'all could be really fucking religious, like super duper traditional. And um, some of you guys, if you guys are not super duper religious, you guys could have a lot of pain or you're holding on to a lot of shit, a lot of guilt. Some of you guys have some type of un like prolonged unhappiness that has been going through in your life. Um, it says here that when you read, you guys are going through a lot of shit. And so um, I do see here with the it's, it's, it's been a while. Some of you guys have been going through a lot of shit for a long time. Um, the anchor card is usually about safety and mobility. Something that's not moving is fixed. So, um, you could be trying to get away from old ways. That could also be it. Maybe you're almost close to reaching your goal. Maybe you feel like you're not going anywhere. You're trying to be determined, put your mind to it, but you feel like you're not getting anywhere. Um, I do see here that maybe you'll find a, a permanent solution in all this mess that you're doing if you're at work. Maybe you're looking to get some type of long-time goal or trying to establish some type of business. Some of you guys could be going to a Naval Academy or some of you guys could be trying to get in a very secure relationship or trying to make a relationship that's very problematic, very secure. Um, you feel tied down, though. Um, some of you guys, really be careful of your pelvic bones. Um, don't do anything that would really fuck up your pelvic area around this time. Um, but you guys, mostly you guys have been into something for a year now, maybe, um, you've been trying to invest for the long term and you guys are in double minds about it. The crossroads card, like the anchor in the crossroads is like someone is, if you guys are going after someone, someone is not committal. Like the anchor and the crossroad card is like someone is not trying to be committed to you. So that could be a disappointment. Um, so maybe someone is not interested in a relationship. That's kind of sad, but I mean, um, someone is not trying to stick around. They want to keep their options open and that could be a problem for you, um, because you really know what you want. Um, or again, you guys could be in double minds. Again, it seems like you don't know what to choose from. You have a path and your options go in different ways and you could be trying to face a predicament. You're split. Um, vacillation could be your middle name. You could be um, double talking. Someone is bare, either di bisexual or unfaithful. They have a double life. Someone could have been caught cheating. Someone could be in their, they're in their mind about a cheating situation. Someone could have an extra side piece. Ooh, y'all ain't shit. Someone has a lot of doubt and uncertainty. Someone doesn't know if they want to hit the road and leave. So someone could be having a lot of like thoughts about what they want to do, but someone is not committal at all. Like someone, they're not serious about engaging in a very serious relationship. Um, maybe someone is sad about that, but there's definitely some type of sadness. So that's why you could be crying or maybe they didn't decide to keep you. Maybe you were going for a job and things have been really rough and now you're trying to manifest a new beginning because it's just not working out where you are. Let's look at the art card. Uh, what is art is life? Follow your dreams, Aquarius. Uh, I almost wanted to call you divine masculine. A woman. A woman. Hmm. What about this woman? You could, guys could be a lady. With masculine energy, let's see. Public. Fox and home. I don't like that. What is the fox and home card? Someone is watch love. Okay. What is the fox and home card? That was the other card that peaked. What's the fox and home card surveillance? A man. Someone is sneaking around somebody's shit. The snake. Yeah, somebody. Yo, okay, so somebody is watching somebody. <laughs> Someone has a surveillance van or some shit, or they got a private investigator. Somebody is watching someone. So someone could be in a public eye, or someone is in the public eye, or they're, 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 a public figure they don't necessarily got to be popular but they just could be someone that you know of or you've seen um the fount or the garden i call it the fountain card but the garden card is a card of getting outdoors maybe you've seen this person a public um place or you're trying to court them or date them you could be meeting them at a birthday or concert a play or going to the movies or you could be reunion with them like maybe you met them somewhere but this person could be rich or abundant 
um, it's a woman though. So someone could be me, new people, or you're trying to manifest a new person, a social butterfly or a, a artistic person, maybe another artist such as yourself, or this person could be an artist. Someone works in public relations. Someone could be an event planner. Someone could be working for the community. Some, but you want to play the field with this person. You're not ready to settle down or you want, or this person isn't this woman. Um, yeah, I just, okay, so I see y'all, yeah, you know, um, I will say, I will say here, I'm reading here, it says that, um, if you, if you have the garden next to the woman, it talks about being introduced to some type of grand society where new friendships will be born, so you could be trying to meet new friends, you could be invited to an occasion, or meeting a new group of people, maybe Aquarius, you'll be doing this. Or uh, an artistic person, again, another artist such as yourself. Or you could be retreating and relaxing with this woman. But um, I, I don't see any negative cards here. I just see the woman in the garden. So you're definitely trying to manifest something. Now, the garden, the snake is here. Prepare for some difficulties. So there's going to be some shit. I don't like this man card. Now, I get the love card. I don't like the fact that you got to watch a woman. Just to, I don't like that. That makes me feel uncomfortable. Like, you watching someone, like, that's a little obsessive. Divine masculine, if that is you, you watching this woman, hell, motherfucking no, stops today. Um, some type of eternal emotional connection, um, deep satisfaction or gratification. Someone has, they're, they're enraptured with being with someone or they want some type of affection. They want to be kind or, or affectionate. I, I get that. Maybe you, maybe this person works at philanthropy or charity work, or maybe they are someone you, you like them. You think they cute, you know? Oh shit. You know, a cloud nine feeling like being in love for the first time. It makes you act a little crazy. Maybe you, maybe you got some problems, motherfucker. Now the heart and the snake, you take it how it resonates. Someone's intentions are deceitful. Someone is jealous or not being honest or someone is propositioning trouble and someone has very false pretenses. So, um, yeah, I got to interpret it because the heart and the snake are here and somebody ass is sneaking around somebody home. Now, if you doing this, don't be surprised if someone tap you on your shoulder and knock your ass the fuck out or get you arrested. You got to be careful. I don't get it. You do. Uh, Aquarius, I get you got somebody doing your dirty work for your ass. But someone is posing. Someone could be devising or plotting a plan to protect or secure something. Uh, this could be a work situation, but I don't think so. But someone they could be working to get you. But someone is some type of con or trip or trap or manipulation or some type of duplicity or fraud is going on. Someone is very witty, charming, or sweet, street smart, or cunning or crafty. They're very attractive or dangerous, or they're a con artist. But either way, they could be red. Um, red complected. Um, you again the private investigator card. Someone could be a detective or reporting to someone. You could be undercover trying to charm someone to get what you want. Someone is a double dealer, a backstabber, or there could be some type of duplicity or hidden agendas. So be careful about being taken advantage of. Someone is definitely on the prowl. It's this man. He wants something. He's crafty. He's trying to sneak around and get something. He's a snake, too, so I don't trust him off the bat. When you have the man and the fox, it talks about cautionary device. Be careful who you believe and take what someone says as a, a grain of salt. Prudence is very necessary. Be careful of the circles you're in. Do not give your confidence. Someone is trying to scam or steal from you. Yeah, be careful of this dude. He got some hypocrisy and double standards. He's a deceptive person, so you can't trust him. And then you got this, um, this house card. You could be married to this motherfucker, yo. Or you could be invited to his house, but he's a manipulative motherfucker. Like, he ain't shit. Like, this motherfucker got a trick up their sleeve. Home, family, entourage, refuge, prosperity, possessions, real estate. He could be working in real estate. He could be um, the patriarch of a dynasty. But it de definitely says the routine. So someone is, someone's trying to shake up somebody's foundation. Um, Someone is comfortable and someone's trying to shake something up. In a bad way, I get. This secure relationship, someone is either starting a family or they're from a high family. Um, someone could be born in April. 
but there's some shit going on. The house and the snake is about betrayal from someone that you know, a neighbor. So betrayal from a close person, a neighbor, a dysfunctional family, problems at home, repairs. Someone is really trying. So this could be your maintenance man. He kind of sneaking your shit. But the helm, the man and the snake come out. And I told y'all, this man is like a slithering snake. He's trying to do some deceptive shit. I don't like this guy. I'm going to get more into him too. But someone is playing nice um, in your face, but they hide in their real feelings. They're decepting. They're very deceptive or they're betraying you or they're very jealous. They plan on double crossing or um, stabbing you in the back or doing something that's going to elaborate or, or weaving some type of basket of lies and bullshit. Um, now this snake there, they could be sick or they could just be really having some difficulties, but someone is very tantalizing or suggestive or scantily or skeezy. This man is, and he's a backstabber or a liar or deceptive and he's hypocritical. He'll flatter you and then talk behind your back. Someone is doing illegal shit. Um, uh, maybe he's a drug dealer, um, tricky problems. Maybe he's having difficulties doing some shit, or maybe he's a cheater or a liar. He's adulterous. Uh, someone could be betraying someone. Someone need to work on their root chakra too. Maybe you're having problems with your root chakra, but I don't like this man with this man and this motherfucking snake car. It says, um, this person is, you gotta be aware they're deceptive or dangerous. Someone is envious. They say a lot of nice things to you, but they are not a good person. Someone is dangerous, so you got to be careful of these motherfuckers like they trying to do some shit to you. I don't know what they're trying to do to you, but this motherfucker watching your career, but he trying to get in that motherfucker. He could be a maintenance man. Someone, this woman, he's, he's she's meeting someone that's, a, I don't, let's see, because I don't like that car. Some woman is in trouble. I don't like that. Okay, so all cars aside, we got a motherfucking problem intervention. What does this man want with this woman? He wants something. The tree, the knowledge. The tree, the knowledge. So he wants the knowledge. He wants what she knows. What is his intentions with her? Because he's an evil person. The snake wanted to come out, yo. It wanted to come out. He is the snake. So the man is the snake. Um, here's what he wants. He wants the letter and the tower, the ring, the key, the um the the rats and the um 26 so this is a book so he wants some type of divine knowledge um yeah so that's what he wants to do but the key and the snake is here so it's not i don't think that aquarius you'll have a problem because whatever they're trying to do or whoever they are uh, the divine says they cannot get what they want with you they're not going to be able to hurt you because it's going to come back on them or you're going to be able to maneuver the situation to where it's beneficial to you. So whoever this person is, yes, they are a snake and beware of them. But this man here, he's definitely a deceptive person or he has a lot of shit to answer for. Um, let's see here. 25 is a ring or a merger. So someone's trying to either be with you or like marry you. I don't trust this motherfucker. I wouldn't marry him for the, all the money and crabs wallet. The ring is about someone that is beautiful, elegant, a marriage or an alliance or an attachment, some type of engagement or brothel or partnership or merger, a solid tie. It could be something coming in full circle or running in circles. Hell no. Confirmation or affirmation. So the ring is definitely on the left side, an attachment. So someone is unavailable or married. So this guy could be married, y'all. That's why it says don't fuck with him, a bond. So someone could definitely be in another relationship and um, they're trying to put a ring on you and that motherfucker ain't even divorced. So don't fuck with him. Nope, nope. Absolutely not. We not doing that shit. You need to go get your ass a divorce, motherfucker. You need to go get you a motherfucker divorce. Divorce is the word for the day. Three is about key. This is about some type of power to unlock or a key to happiness or destiny, a wish card. So someone wants to get divine knowledge to unlock a wish, some type of karmic lesson. Someone is trying to unlock or accelerate some type of long due solution or open some type of path or possibilities. Um, this can also be about initiations or visualizations 
visualizations or imaginations or going having access to the spiritual world, a karmic destiny, a connection to God. This can also be um, someone that's trying to get some type of psychic realm or a connection to the psychic realm or a third eye chakra or they're trying to get some type of psychic ability or a crown chakra opened or someone is definitely feeling like they want some type of spiritual health so someone is assessing this for a spiritual situation a synchronicity of some sort looking for a sign or the key to their destiny so someone may be evil but they're trying to find out who they are which i don't i'm not really mad about i mean but they gotta fix some shit because they're coming up as the fucking snake and that shit is uncomfortable like then you got this card the key and the motherfucking mice so the key in the mind is serious worry, spiritual loss and misalignment, stress. So you are very stressed out. Someone you're dealing with is stressed the fuck out about what someone can know about someone else. The key in the book is about a major secret, a spiritual journey or teachings or a, the book of shadow. Someone is afraid of the opening. Someone is afraid of opening and being aware. They're afraid of what's on the other fucking side of that door. And they're just like, I don't want to. Oh, it just remind me of the fucking divine bastard reader. Like, I want to open the door, but I don't want bitch either open the fucking door or get the fuck out of here. Like, move away. It's other motherfuckers behind you trying to open that door and get themselves together and align with god you keep it up the line get the fuck out the way shit damn we trying to learn this shit we trying to get into these scripts we trying to get into this fucking spiritual now we trying to get into all this shit you getting in the fucking way you teetering and tottering this shit don't know what the fuck you want to do and shit do i want to go in there or not either you're going through the fucking door or you're gonna sit your ass down and sit by your mommy okay divine masculine this is you you are afraid to venture out and talk to someone and be spiritual. You're afraid to, to embrace who you are because your mommy or your girlfriend, your wife said, don't do it. You're like, okay. Like, you do all this evil shit with the snake and the man card. But when it comes to getting yourself together, you just like, well, I don't know about that. Nigga, what? But what the fuck are you doing here? What the fuck are you listening to this video for? Like, what are you doing here? Why are you watching these videos? Because I'm doing the reading, so your energy is here, so you must be watching. What the fuck are you listening to the reading for? Like, you should just go ahead and move the fuck around. Unfollow my channel and get the fuck out. Because we trying to do some real shit. We trying to do fix our lives. We trying to elevate. We trying to be better. We trying to get our shit together. And you up there talking. You, you just a big-ass ball of talk. You a big-ass hot air balloon. Like... You're not really about this life. This is a real life. We trying to manifest and vibrate higher and you fucking plan. You got the snake card. You got other fucking motives and intentions and shit. What the f you yo your shit's all the way off. That's why your shit the snake. You ain't right and you know you ain't right. And I'ma call you out. Nigga, you need to go ahead and get the fuck out. Take your bitch ass home. I'm sorry, I mean disrespect you, but that's kind of how I see it, cause you're not a really you're not a man. You're not a man. Yo, yo, you ain't got no fucking balls. I don't know where your balls went in her purse. I don't know what kind of man you are. I'm sorry. I know it's going to be some people in the comments. Oh, you wrong. It's talking shit. How you? I, I said the truth. It said be honest. So I'm going to be honest. You need to unsubscribe because you're not really trying to vibrate. Everybody in this channel is trying to get some type of wisdom and knowledge to ascend and be a better person. That's what Sister Girl Reasons is about. We trying to be a better person. We don't want to be lower vibrational anymore. We don't want to follow that fucking lower vibe dumbass path and fuck up the same shit and wonder why we not fucking happy at the end of the day. You like being there. You make a whole fucking tent in misery and sit there and wallow. If that's what you want to do, that's cool. But take your ass on. You fucking up the messages for other motherfuckers who could really need this fucking shit. And you up there teetering and tottering in the fucking spiritual door and can't nobody get in. Like, bruh, get the fuck out the way shit like go find another motherfucker to listen to because this ain't the channel for you anyways sorry i had to go in because somebody asked it's like i want to do it but okay well then bud get the fuck on like bye anyways yeah so like i said someone is trying to write a fucking letter and they want to sit there and talk and shit and yeah they want to oh i want to talk and they want to have a conversation and then eh, nobody don't give a fuck about that shit bro don't nobody care because you're not really about shit anyway. Then you got this tower nine, 19 to protect yourself. So are you trying to protect yourself? Like, what are you doing? 
Like, you're trying to get some type of message on how to get your shit together? Like, I, then the five came out. The five is about being a spiritual teacher or a move. Are you really trying to do that? Because, like, it says you're a snake, so I don't trust you. I mean, do you trust yourself, honestly? I mean, I'm not trying to judge you based upon your past actions, but if you're not trying to repent and change those type of behaviors to be a better man, then what the fuck, again, what are you doing on my channel? It's redundant at this point. I want to go into this man. This man is pissing me off. He in my reading, and I don't fucking like his existence. Because you pissing me off. You messing up the, the messages for all these great people out here who want to change their lives. You fucking around. Like, you... Why is he a snake? Let me stop talking shit. Why is he a snake? The, the cut. The family. Cut. Are you cutting generational ties, or... What what is this? What okay, so why is he the snake? No, sorry. You a snake for something. Flowers. Someone's trying to bribe you. They watch you, they beat off to you. What the fuck is this shit? <laughs> what? Someone um someone watches someone's home. Yeah, this you watch this bitch's home. Like you outside the door with a fucking, I don't know, like a fucking, uh, what's that shit? A boom box or some shit playing music. It sounds like that bum fucking video by Hawthorne Heights called Nikki FM. And he's like, I'm outside of your window with my radio. I'm like, nigga, can you get the fuck out of here? I'm trying to sleep. Like, this person is dreaming about you and shit. They sneak around and shit at night. So this motherfucker is watching your niggas at night. This nigga is watching you when you walk somewhere. Divine masculine, get some motherfucking um, pepper spray. <laughs> get some pepper spray. This motherfucker's on some other shit <laughs> for real. I'm not playing, yo. Get you some pepper spray. Okay, this motherfucker is, I don't know. Like, this nigga is something wrong with him. I don't know. Like, I don't know. It's, it sounds like a predator or a peeping Tom or some shit. This nigga beat off and shit to your pictures. I don't know. But this woman, like, she's in the public eye or she's publicly known. This motherfucker watching her house and shit, watching her and shit, sneaking around like the fox. And he's just at night. Like, this motherfucker is at night. He's, I, what the fuck's wrong with this motherfucker? Y'all need to stop. You need to get some mental help. Like, whoever this was, y'all done with this person. But you feel like this person is a key person in your life. You have to speak to this person. Uh, sneaking around their house would not be a good idea. You're creepy as fuck, and you're starting to pollute my reading. <laughs> you got some negative vibrational energies, and it's, it'd be different if you were trying to change them, but you're not trying to do that shit. You're just trying to be the snake and slither around and be messy and fuck up readings. Man, go get the fuck on. Anyway, so the 10. The 10 is about an accident or a break, an abruption, a violent act. What the fuck? Yo, some type of danger can be avoided. Huh, predicting danger. Are you like watching this bitch to predict danger? I don't know. Like, maybe something already happened. Maybe you're watching out for something. Are you watching this woman like for something bad? I don't know. Like, you watching her family? Um, <laughs> you, it seems like you guys broke up or something. Maybe 10 years, 10 months in the fall. Mm -mm. Um, you got lilies here. Lilies is about family or a high society. Seems like somebody is watching someone's family or an elder. That's weird as hell. <laughs> um, yeah, the lilies can be an older man or an older woman or someone that's very an older uncle or an aunt. Someone that is a uh, noble blood, family heritage. Someone is um, they're full of knowledge or respect or wisdom. Someone spiritual. So you could be you could be someone that is watching someone pregnant. Or for a period of time. What the fuck? Someone that is... Yeah, it says someone that is trying to get a relief of worry. So basically someone's lineage or heritage or someone well-established. Hmm, interesting. So you've been watching this person for a long time. A long time. You're setting your ways. You, someone could be older. Someone could be an older man. Someone definitely could be an older man, but that's just weird. Like, why are you watching this person? It makes no sense. Um, the lilies and the male is about a commitment, but there's no ring here. So you're not trying to commit to this person. I don't think it's that, but you, um, it's about virtue. 
Maybe you're trying to cast doubt on someone's reputation. Or you're trying to foretell of a domestic dispute or a sorrow. Or you're trying to predict some type of separation. Is that what you're trying to do? Are you watching someone to see if someone is breaking up with someone? Yo, that you know, that shit's kind of lame. Just go just go ask the girl for a date. Just ask her. All she can do is say no. You don't even know. If you waiting, how you know that girl ain't going to stay with her husband or her wife or whoever, and you just waiting and you never get nothing you want? You be sitting around until you fucking old as shit. Like, you're literally, the lily's gray. <laughs> you're waiting for this person to leave their relationship. They're never going to fucking leave. So why don't you just go in and say something? I think it's better just act. Like, if you, 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 what are you afraid? I don't think you guys are afraid. I think you just want to sit there and beat off, honestly. The bouquet is about helping hands. I don't know how you're helping this person, but I guess paying it forward. <laughs> maybe someone did something for you in the past, maybe. I don't know, but you feel the need to watch this motherfucker. A lecture. Someone that thinks highly of this person. So you think highly of this person. Or you want to visit them or talk to them. What the fuck are you waiting for then? What do you, what, 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 why? Why do you want to speak? Why? You want to argue that fucking, that fucking, um, 11 is about arguments. You want to sit here and have a motherfucking debate. Uh, if this was me, I was saying the door on your ass. Like, fuck out of here. Don't argue with me. An argument pointing fingers about violence. Um, some type of punishment or explosive energy or some type of living situation. Um, sexual fetishes or violence or domestic abuse, um, a living situation. Mm, are you watching to see if someone's getting the ass beat? An escort. It's like you're watching to see if someone's getting their ass beat. Hard no. This is very interesting. Like, I don't understand why you just won't come to this person to speak to them. I don't. If you like them and you think about them highly and you got an opinion about them, just say something to them. Just talk to them. I don't. I guess, um, what else? So this man, so what is this man's intentions? Like overall, like I ain't trying to cuss you out, but you, you want to end the sneaky shit. Okay. So you want the sneaky shit to end. Okay. So what are you going to do about it? The Fox and the site, the, the coffin car, you want to stop doing that. Okay. So what you going to do? You going to give a hand. Okay. So the flowers came out. So this man wants to be there. Okay. So I can rock with you now. Because, like, you're trying to do something. But just don't sit here and, like, be, like, the constipation of spirituality and block everybody else's shit. Like, come on, man. Like, it's other people who want to receive a message and you're blocking them. Your energy space is strong. Someone wants to talk and someone wants to bring happiness and luck. That's cool. That, do that shit like do it like the sun and the fucking clover do that shit my nigga like yo stand an ovation like you want to help someone you want to give them luck great but but don't do all that sneaky shit that shit too much like you you creepy my nigga like something wrong all right let's go into the road like man all right let's look aquarius i had to talk to divine masculine forgot who reading this was aquarius Anything else? Because we got too much shit. We got to cover. Aquarius, your card is Page of Swords. You care about what people think too much. And that's really causing an issue. The Two of Wands. You feel like people um, have good intentions, but um, they don't, they don't, they mean well, but they hurt your feelings. Or they are, they have strong, like, my case of point, I will be Two of Wands to you. The page of swords is about a young woman that says things and it hurts your feelings. It cuts deep. And I'm sorry if that hurt that hurt your feelings, but I got to be real. I'm a Sagittarius son and I love Aquarius, but I'm not going to sugarcoat shit because y'all don't sugarcoat shit to me. And I had an Aquarius best friend for 20 years and that bitch never fucking sugarcoated nothing. So, bitch, we're not going to sugarcoat anything on this reading. Okay? Okay. Um, the Aquarius card, this could be also be page of swords, can be a Gemini or a Libra. Um, someone that is letting other people's judgments affect them or opinions, advice, and perception do not care what people think. Or a person needs to exercise great control and rush to the judgment of others and suffer for those judgments. So you could feel like, and, and I could, I could be mean to you. I don't mean to be mean. The two of wands is definitely befitting for this situation if it were me, because I mean well. I mean well. 
I want you to be the best. I want you to surpass. I want you to have true ascendance. My approach may be rash or abrupt, abrasive, but I want you to be your best self. I want you to be that nigga. I want you to be strong. I want you to find your aspirations and be successful. I want those things for you. So whoever you are, you, I want you to transcend. Never, never not want that for you. But I don't want you to teeter and totter and affect the messages of my channel to where no one can get their messages because you don't know what the fuck you want to do and you hovering, like, do something. Like, you a man. All right. Maybe you feel like it's not the right time, something is hasty, or you feel like someone's going to fuck up your shit. Or you feel like someone has different intentions. They don't really mean anything. They mean well. But that's just. And I do mean well for you. But this ain't me. You could be worried about other motherfuckers opinions. And trying to be a better man than your daddy. I do think it's about me. Because the high priest is here. And again four of pentacles in verse. I'm not trying to be mean to you. <laughs> I swear to you. I'm not trying to. Uh, I don't want you to feel like I'm being um, small and miserly with my heart. I'm not trying to be. I, I understand that you are afraid, but you're if you're never going to try, it's like I said, it reminds me of Drake, Joe. Like everybody fucking dies, but not everybody lives. Like if you want something so fucking bad, just go after that shit. You only got one life. You're going to fucking die eventually. And what's the point of fucking waiting and being scared and timid? Do that shit. Like, you a man. That's, like, come on. Like, you you don't know what it could be. You're afraid. You're just so scared to step into something. And you could do it. Like, everybody believes in you. But do you believe in yourself? Like, come on. Like, if you want to extend your consciousness and dig deep, do it. But don't sit there and teeter. Whoever this is. All right. Um, damn, Aquarius. I'm going to do, do another video for y'all. Because this is specifically for a certain group of people. Because that ain't fair. All right. So, Aquarius, I'll be back. And I'll make another video. I'll see y'all later. Bye.